Alright, this is my latest wheat instrument. Um, it's based around a bowed instrument in the loosest sense. Um, so this hand injects energy into the system like a bow would, and this hand steers uh, pitch, like say pitch on a cello. Um, the only difference is, is that, say on a regular bowed instrument, you only have bow going in one dimension. This you have three. So um, the each accelerometer on the right hand controller um, controls different synthesis engines um, and this hand controls the pitch. Um, the trigger is basically a note on. So as I move this more, I steer pitch with this hand. The joystick um, controls harmony, so and we have there's a few different sounds you can load in. Um, and change with this um, D-pad. So at the moment it's a cello, but change to kind of a flute type sound. And a voice. But you know, you can load in any different kind of wave file you want. Um, I'll quickly show you the reactor patch I've got running here. <clears throat> so at the bottom there is a little, just a uh, kind of a GUI um, it's going to provide a bit of visual feedback so you can quickly see um, what pitch your uh, left hand is at, you know, as you kind of first learn the instrument. The Wii Motors are driving three synthesis engines. Um, there's um, a physical model, a bowed string based on one of Julia Smith's bowed string topologies. There's a granular synthesizer which um, I've loaded in a few different waveforms um, of people either, well, singing in this case or playing various instruments and getting more and more intense and as you put more energy into this controller so it gets further up the kind of intensity waveform and starts playing grains from more intense sections of the uh, waveform. Um, there's also an additive uh, synthesizer which is providing some of the subharmonic content as well as kind of little anomalies that kind of creep in uh, as you get further up the um, energy input scale much like with a real instrument. Um, and there's a bit of reverb and compression going on there. Um, that's pretty much it for this demo. If you want to have a look at some of the source code, you can find it at widdy.net. Right, thanks.